The Three Stooges have been getting a lot of backlash for the way they have been advertising their mediocre product. Lunchly versus Lunchables. With Lunchly, you get double the amount of liquid. Prime has no sugar added, more electrolytes, and more B vitamins. Crunch Bar. Whoa. Feastables Crunch yeah! Bar. Yeah! Our pizza uses real cheese. This is molded. That's mold. Oh, it's so much mold. This is terrible. Oh my gosh. We put a lot of effort into this. I just want you guys to know I did not fake this. I know what you're thinking. I have the same thought. Since she's salty towards Mr. Beast, she made it all up. His biggest hater, surprise, surprise, has found another issue, completely random. What a coincidence. Well, apparently more people found mold in it. It seems that in some of the packaging, the glue part wasn't done properly, so it didn't seal well. Obviously, Logan Paul and the other guys came forward and talked about it. By the way, I love Rosanna, man. You know, it's... Oh, do I want to say this? <laughs> uh, okay, this was like years ago this is one of the reasons why i followed her i actually had like a low-key crush on her really yeah which do you interest <laughs> not anymore but <laughs> wait really uh, yeah back that's in so day. endearing <laughs> that's insane yeah now she's talking shit about your cousin <laughs> that's crazy so it, it's kind of weird how the tables have turned yeah yeah but uh i mean yeah let, she could do her thing man let, let, let her do her thing. yeah yeah she yeah the uh yeah like i like my cheese moldy bro <laughs> Yo, <laughs> when she saw that, she must have been jumping. She, Bro. she must have been like, Yo. yes! <laughs> the salty lady also showed on Twitter that their products had since been taken off the shelves. And apparently, Logan Paul responded it wasn't true. It's a smear campaign. As this kept growing, Logan Paul had enough and came forward with his side of the drama. All right, this is the best one yet. According to ex-users, various retail stores have recalled Lunchly products due to FDA's concerns. The sign of the tweet reads, due to public health concerns, the FDA has recalled Lunchly products. We will restock as soon as deemed fit for consumption and ship through our warehouses. But that's so weird because FDA recalls are public by law. And as you can see, Lunchly is not on the FDA recall list. So hold up, that means that this sign is fake. Somebody typed up and printed out a 100% lie about Lunchly being recalled, taped it to the fridge, then a picture of it was taken by someone else and posted on social media as if it were real. Community notes, where you at? <laughs> anyway, I had my forensics team look into it and they were able to find the exact location where this allegedly took place by photo matching the tweet with the gray door handle and the sales labels. Then we cross-referenced it with the locations that we distribute to. It's a Fred Meyer and I had someone go there. Boom, exact match. Same door handle, same tag, same products even, but hold on, where is the FDA recall sign? Also, we can see the sales data. After <laughs> Lunchly was recalled, <laughs> it wasn't, but after that sign was posted, we continued to sell out all of the Lunchly's that hit the shelves in that store. So who put that fake sign up. Turns out it was an employee named who said this when we confronted him. And I quote, that was like kind of rumorized, I guess, through around here, but we had seen a posting about that, but I was the one who had written that. But since we got Lunchly back, it's been taken down. When it comes down to the actual, like, I guess, accountability of it, it was a rumor that was up in the air. Since we had heard that the FDA whole thing was kaput, we took it down. Yeah, it was more of like a, uh, yeah, it wasn't like a, Anyway, hater or dumbass? I don't know, maybe both. Oh, and I also saw this video. As of right now, it is believed that all of the lunch trees are being discontinued in various stores. Yeah, that's also not true. Turkey stackums are not discontinued. Stores are selling them as we speak, and they're also still on Kroger's website, which would be crazy for an item that's discontinued. Hey, and look, I know some people are driving up to 130 miles just to find lunch trees, but please be patient as we try to ramp up production to meet the demand. But it's just crazy to me that we're a $4 lunch kit, and in the first four weeks, our headquarters had a bomb threat. The FBI has identified the individual. He's based in London, which is crazy because we don't even distribute there. A fabricated FDA recall that never happened. An attention-hungry little clout goblin who has made it her entire identity to speak negatively on all things Mr. Beast. And we'd love to think this is all just a coincidence, but it's a nah, we call him Cap. The fact is, the USDA inspects every finished food lot and approves it before even leaving our facility. And yes, it's possible that issues happen in transit, like a seal breaking or at the store level with rough handling. But just like any produce you buy, problems can arise. And our retail partners are great. They'll offer a full refund. And we are happy to assist anyone at any time if you email our customer service. But at the end of the day, the product speaks for itself. In our first five weeks in Kroger, we've already outsold Lunchables and comparable SKUs that also sell drinks inside. We're going to keep innovating and improving our product as we attempt to disrupt this archaic industry that's been run by the same corporate giants for the past 120 years. It is a new era and the ops are going to have to try harder. <laughs> Logan Paul's laughter is the best. <laughs> he speaks well, but funny enough, he seems to have skipped the main issue. Mold. Sure, some idiots lied about this. People don't like you, just don't like you. Case in point, what else is new?
It's just the way they present things and how the events actually unfold that adds more fuel to the fire surrounding these people. Promoting a processed food as a healthy product, it's so obvious. They're scammers, just like everyone else. When they cut corners and because they are so public about it, this stuff happens. What I find interesting is how the salty lady doesn't seem to address any of the other YouTubers and literally thousands of brands that also promote crappy processed foods. Face Rug, Ryan Trehan, and on and on and on. YouTubers that promote gambling, OF, money scams. Nope. Just Mr. Beast. Oh, I see. She has an agenda too. It just looks so disingenuous when you are so blatantly obvious about your intentions. Anyway, let me know your comments down below. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.